Hello, so I figured I'd talk about my midterm um, assignment that is gonna be due on Wednesday of this week. So I'm gonna upload it today for my overachievers, which is most of you, okay? So it means that it's up until Wednesday, and that means that on Thursday, midnight, it's gonna be cut off. There isn't a specific time for Wednesday because I like to leave it open. Now, don't leave it to the last minute because it's Murphy's Law. So sometimes you wanna upload and then, you know, SU is down or your computer's down or your internet doesn't work or whatever, and then you're hustling. There's other teachers that don't accept it. I accepted some late work just recently right with the last assignment, just so you guys can get used to it, but nobody accepts it. I'm not gonna accept it. So make sure that you, um, you know, make sure that there's enough time for it there. If there's anything that goes wrong with it, that you will be able to um, get it corrected and have enough time to upload it and stuff, okay? So, and that goes for anything in life, okay? If you can get it done a day before, get it done, because when you, you know, when you wanna get it done and you're hurried to get it done, everything happens, everything, okay? So that, so um, you had create a healthy mind, body, and spirit, okay? And then you had for chapter 13, you had, um, let me see, I'm gonna give like, I'm gonna discuss this in our meeting uh, on Teams, and then we're gonna discuss it, but let me see. Oh, give me a minute. The other one is building supportive and diverse relationships. Okay, so I do meditation, okay? And if we were in regular um, class, we would probably do every class session or at least twice a week, we would do meditation. I will be having meditation sessions for, um, you know, once we have our meetings and teams, okay? So I am, uh, it's very interesting. I love this class, okay? I love college studies, love it, love it, love it, because it's really about taking care of yourself and it really is about expanding yourself and it's being about being the best that you can be, okay? And so, um, just an FYI, I have, I am very spiritual and I am, um, um, well, I'm not going to tell you because I'm going to scare you, but I, I have another business. It's uh, dream interpretations. Okay. So I interpret dreams and I'm, um, you know, I'm psychic. Okay. So whether you believe it or not. So anyway, so I, it has been a lifetime of work for me. Okay. So I have gone to Tibet with the Tibetan monks. Um, I also did um, El Camino Santiago, which is a pilgrimage, um, Catholic pilgrimage that not only Catholics do. And so they walk from one side to Spain. You actually, the route that I took is actually in, in, um, in Paris and then, not Paris, I'm sorry, France, um, where the Pyrenees is. It's like a forest, it's heavy duty. And then you walk from one side of, um, of Spain, which you start in, in, in France, and then you walk to the other side to, um, to Santiago Compostela is what it's called. It's about 500 uh, miles, about 779 kilometers, and you walk for 30 days, about 12 miles, um, you know, which is about 22 to 21 kilometers. Um, the younger kids did it, did like 30 to 40 kilometers a day, which is like 30 or 35 miles. It's crazy. Um, and it takes you 30 days to get from one side to another. So I did that because I was in this, I've been in this constant spiritual quest all my life. Okay. Because I, because I, because of this gift that I have. The other thing is that I went through this pilgrimage because I lost a brother last year. Was it last year? Yeah, it was last year. So I lost a brother last year. And so, you know, for those of you who are Catholic and who are, who are you know, Mexican, you know, you have manda. So it's sort of like a, you know, it's it's ridiculous really because you sort of do like a, like a negotiation with God, right? Well, if I go walk Spain, you know, maybe you'll save him or whatever. I didn't, I didn't expect him to save him, but I did really feel that I was, that I was needing to go. I, I wanted to level up spiritually and I felt that I, that I had to take this trip and I had to go inward and I had to walk all these miles to be able to get at a higher level. And, um, and it happened, you know, it didn't happen magically and it's been a lot of work. So, so life is about working about working on yourself and life is, is not, um, school is not life. Life is school. Okay. And so it is through going through your life, which is a journey and your path, that you will achieve a lifetime of knowledge and you will um, understand who you are and you will uh, be able to grow as a person because part 
of life is to be the best person and uh, be the better person than you are today, than you were five minutes ago, than you were a year ago. And it's to be able to achieve the best that you can achieve just being yourself. And you should not compete against anybody except the person that you are today. You need to be better than what you are today and what you know you were a year ago or whatever. And so that is part, at least for me, our, li our life mission and our life goal and our life journey. And so that's why I tell you that if you got me, it's because you're ready to hear the message. And so, you know, in the end, school doesn't matter. And in the end, your job doesn't matter. You know, it's about living your life and it's about really enjoying the people um, that you're with. And it really is about love and it's about self-love first, because if you do not have self-love, then how can you give love and how can you expect love, right? If you don't know what that is and if you don't know what what it means to love yourself, right? And, and I saw this quote the other day in Pinterest where it says, um, when the heart is hungry, you believe the lies and that's absolutely right right and that's why we you know we stay in bad relationships or whatever so anyway so this is about mind spirit and body and i will do this isn't a, i'm going to do a lecture like starting monday or tuesday on on the i mean the teams we're going to be discussing mind spirit and body but really what your mid what your midterm is this okay i want you to research vision boards and vision boards are boards that you cut out whatever pictures you want based on whatever vision and whatever goal you have in life. I recommend that you compartmentalize them. And so there's, I have, I have had, I have always had vision boards. And let me start, let me tell you how I started with my vision board by, by accident, really. So there was this beautiful like picture of Shanghai that is beautiful and i've and i've gone to china okay like i told you i went to china i went to china and i went to tibet okay so i went to two different places because they're not the same place although they're in the same area okay so i when i went to and i've gone to china twice but the initial picture was in shanghai and shanghai has this tower and then on the other side of bond the the bond river which is this river it's beautiful it's like this walkway you know it's sort of like i don't know new york or san francisco or something like that and so it has like this beautiful tower that has like two spheres, one on top and one on the other and one on the bottom. And that's in Shanghai. And then, and then there's these buildings that are built like globes, like world globes. And one of them is the Western hemisphere. And the other one is the, is the Eastern hemisphere, right? So they're globes. And so you see the globes and you see like, you see, you know, the West, right? So you see all the Americas and then you see the East, you see China and stuff. And at night, and these buildings are made out of like glass. They're beautiful. They're like a multi-level once you're in there. They, I think they were office buildings. And at night, they're made out of glass. And at night, on, on, on the other side, right? Because there's a river that separates, like the buildings are on one, like on one side of the, of the river. And then there's like this walkway on the other side of the river. So if you're on the walkway side of the river, as you look out to the river, right, you see these office buildings, but they look like, 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 uh, like the world, okay? And they look like the Western and Eastern hemispheres are floating in the river. It was this amazing, beautiful sight. And so this picture came up and I was really interested in, in China for a very, very, very long time. And I was, I was poor, I didn't have any money. And um, I was married at the time with my husband. And so, um, first of all, because I have two ex-husbands because I can't. So, um, so what happened was that I had this picture of Shanghai in my, in my work area at school. And, um, and I just had it and I just had it and I would look at it and look at it and look at it. And sometimes I daydream and I daydream and I daydream and I eventually made it to Shanghai. It's a long story. I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell you, but it's a long story. So I finally went and traveled to Shanghai with my second husband. He took me to China for my, uh, for my honeymoon, even though I didn't, um, you know, technically marry him, but I didn't realize that it was my honeymoon till like much, much many years later, but it was my honeymoon. So I've gone to China twice. So that is a prime example of a vision board. A vision board is, 
is something that you cut out or something that you can visualize or something something that you can see right that is a goal so have your vision board decide what it is look on it for on youtube and your vision board is going to have to be something that you can see daily so either have it like i have my vision board always around my office okay and so um you know so decide where you want it because if you can't visualize it and you can't see it you're not going to manifest it and you're not going to be able to fulfill the goal okay and i'll tell you how to manifest things and how to bring things to fruition you being in school and you having this year, excuse me, this term, you visualize it. You saw yourself at school. You saw yourself going to school. You thought about it. You planned it out. First, you got an idea. Possibly someone told you something. Hey, why don't you go back to school? Just like that. And you're like, all right. Or you start seeing like, like, like commercials, right? SU, 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 or something like that. Or you, or you meet someone that's going to school and you're interested in it. And so then after that, you start thinking about it. You say, well, maybe that's what I want to do, right? And then, so you get an idea and then you start planning it. Well, how can I do it? And then you start overcoming all your obstacles. Well, what am I going to do? I don't have any money. I don't have a car. Who's going to take care of the kids? I'm married. I'm too stupid. All the self-sabotaging things that you told yourself, you eliminate it because you're here, okay? And so you created a plan and then you acted on your plan. And now the visualization of you coming to school has manifested and you're here. How amazing is that, right? So you're gonna have to visualize something and then put it, like sometimes I put like borders, right? I used to have like little borders. I had, um, you know, I haven't taught this class in a long time, but some of my students bought like, like um like calendars or like uh bulletin boards and they created their vision board on that or they created a vision board based like on um you know the science project uh boards that or you can just pick like a wall and then you just put all your um you know all your pictures so you're gonna cut out pictures from magazines from you know from instagram i don't know if you can print them out from computers uh, from Pinterest. I love Pinterest. I sort of like, you know, I have my own copy or at home. So I sort of send it off to print. And so you decide what it is that you want. Okay. Now I want you to have a vision in your vision board. I want you to have sections, right? So what is it that you want for your personal life? Right. And then what is it that you want for your professional life? Right. And then what is it that you want for your health? Okay. And then what is it that you want for your spirituality? All right. And then, you know, like how much money do you want to make? You need to decide how much money do you want to make? You know, sometimes, you know, I ask my students, well, how much money do you want to make? Well, a lot. Well, what's a lot, right? A lot for us is not a lot for a millionaire, right? So what is a lot and what would be enough for us? And what is it that we want? Make sure that whatever goals and whatever it is that you wish is very, very specific. So if you want to make $100,000, then you put 100000 a year, okay? If you want to be healthy and you want to lose five pounds, right? Then you say, we'll go down in weight. Make sure that when you manifest things and when you speak things into existence, you don't use negatives, okay? So like, let's say you don't want war, right? You say, no war. Well, ideally, right? And when you you know, speak it into existence, right? Or you speak it into the ethers or you speak it out to God, whatever, whoever is your God, source, Jesus, Allah, Buddha, um, self, energy, whatever it is, then you have to make sure they don't understand. Like if you speak it out and you say, you know, uh, no war, all they're hearing is war. So you have to say peace, right? If you want to say, I don't want to be sick, you say, I am healthy. If you say, um, I don't know, whatever else you want, right? Whatever else. So make sure that you pick and choose your words correctly and that they're not negatives and you basically put it all in positive. So let's take a, let's, let's take an example. So let's say you all want to be, um, you know, uh, a medical assistant. So you're going to be, so you're going to have put like maybe a graduation cap whenever you're going to graduate in October of whatever, or you know, in nine months, whatever that is, you're going to be graduated by, you know, maybe uh, November of next year. So then you have like a little graduation and you put, 
you know, little like cap and gown and then you put like, um, you know, November 2021 or something or see or visualize yourself with like a diploma or you in cap and gown and so you put that up there, right? Maybe you want a house, right? So you put up a house, right? Maybe you want a new car. You put up a, you put a new, put a new car. You put a hundred thousand per year, whatever it is that you want. Maybe you want a vacation. You want to go out somewhere. Maybe you want to be more spiritual, right? So maybe you, 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 you know, you get chakras and you, you do your chakras or you, if you're a Christian, you do Christian, or if you do Buddhism or Muslim or whatever, then you have that. And what is it like for my goal, right? Was for me to ascend to a higher level of consciousness and spirituality, even though I'm very Catholic, I'm more so spiritual and they're different, right? Religion from spirituality is different. So I, one of my goals was to go to El Camino de Santiago. It took me 10 years to get there, okay? From the first time that I that I envisioned it and I thought about it, it took me 10 years to get it, okay? So sometimes it takes forever, right? But it's something that I needed to do. So what is it that you want? So for my spirituality, that's what I wanted. You know, do you wanna, do you wanna have, do you wanna be married, right? Do you want a good husband? Do you want a good wife? Do you want children, right? So, or do you want to conceive, right? So you put there maybe like a little baby or, you know, and, and in terms of spirituality, you know, also for your relationship, what do you want? Do you, like, I want a harmonious, you know, effortless, loving, faithful relationship. So you put there, you know, a, a harmonious, loving relationship, faithful relationship, you know, um, loving family, um, you know, uh, whatever it is that you want and you compartmentalize health, like we want health, right? With the COVID, everyone's, everybody wants to be healthy right now. So we put there, you know, um, health, right? And so we put like vegetables or eating better or eating healthier, you know, what is it that we can do in our lifestyle to be able to possibly eat better and have a better lifestyle and eating habits, right? Maybe, you know, you cut off your you know, maybe you eat more fish and more veggies as opposed to red meat. You know, I was a vegetarian, a pescatarian for a long, long time. You know, I don't know, maybe seven years. I've slowly started eating meat again. I don't know why. Uh, you know, it was hard. It was hard for me at the beginning. So anyway, so I'm pretty much a vegetarian um, mostly, right? And so if, you know, I started off with like, um, you know, uh, meatless Mondays. And it was very hard because my family doesn't eat any pastas or any carbs. So it was very hard for me to adjust, but, uh, but we didn't. So specifically my son and I, we, we became vegetarians for a very, very long time. Um, he's not anymore and I'm not either, but you know, what is it that you want, right? And so, and what, you know, maybe you want to exercise. Walking 20 minutes is, an, is, is a mile. So anything that you do for 20 minutes is sort of a mile. Um, you know, you can walk, so you can start walking, you can start running, you know, I run, I'm a wimpy runner, but nonetheless, I get up and run, it's helped me tremendously, so living well and living healthy is a lifestyle, you know, I hardly don't drink, you know, I don't smoke, you know, I eat mostly vegetarian, um, you know, I eat a lot of fish and veggies, so, I mean, you know, a lot of people tell me, oh, you look great, and this and that, yeah, it's been a lot of work, right, because it's a lifestyle, so what is it that you want? It's a time to reflect about what it is that you want in life and then create that vision board for yourself. And your vision board is amazing, okay? I mean, your vision board is extraordinary. Whatever it is that you can visualize can become and materialize. So create a vision board. You're gonna create it and have it and really take it to heart. I had a student one day, he just did the vision board and then as soon as he left the class, he just even left it there. Part of the vision board is for you all to be able to um, you know, uh, specifically define your goals and what it is that you want in life in order to organize it and figure out how you're going to get to it, okay? Because if you can't think it, if you don't know it, then how are you going to achieve it, right? You need to understand what it is that you want. And so make sure that you create the vision board that's pretty, you because you're going to be seeing it and then maybe date it also. What I've started doing is dating stuff to see how long it takes me to materialize it and manifest it. Something impossible, like impossible, impossible, impossible takes about five years. Something that's not so hard takes anywhere from like, you know, it takes about a year, six months, depending on, on how you good you, how fast and how good you get and manifesting things. So create your vision board and then I'm going to, you're going to, you're going to take a picture of it. All right. 
and you're going to sort of, um, and then so you're going to upload that, but you're also going to write like a little paragraph telling me what, explaining your vision, okay? So you're going to create your vision board out of like pictures that you're going to paste based on what your, what your goals are spiritually, financially, in terms of relationship, health, and career, okay? If you want to add more, add more. Do Where do you want to go? Visit you know, the Maldives, I don't know what those are called, but they're incredible islands. I want to go there. Okay. I also want to go to Greece. Okay. Um, I've traveled extensively. And so all those places that I have actually wanted to, um, travel to, I, um, I've thought about first and there's been, they've been part of my vision boards. Okay. So if you want to travel, then where is it that you want to travel? So make sure that you create your vision board, something for you, take a picture, and then you're going to have to write something and upload that as well, or put, or maybe put it underneath the vision board. I don't know. That's going to be really hard, but you may, you know, maybe type something up to explain what your vision board is. So that way I can have an explanation as well, okay? So a vision board means that you're gonna put in all the pictures and really make it pretty and then give me an explanation of the vision board. And that is gonna be your midterm. That's gonna be due on Wednesday. Don't wait till the last minute because if there's difficulties uploading it, you're gonna, you're gonna be in a bind because I'm not gonna take any more late work. And then um, that means that by Thursday midnight, um, it closes up. Okay. So give me a call or a chat if you have any questions on that. Namaste. Love and light. Ciao.